everybody, this is Gavin speaking. Next, we'll learn the wardrobe product library. From here, we can find out the wardrobe product uh, library. This is for some spatial storage uh, cabinet. And we have two series. The first series for the functional cabinet models. And for most of these models, the size is fixed because it's for some standard uh, cabinet models so the size is fixed and uh, most of these models actually the inside structure is also fixed cannot change it uh, for example we just choose the first one the uh, storage cabinet and uh, just drag inside and because all these cabinets for the some standard storage cabinet so for each kind of cabinet we have a special code for this one for these models for example this one the code is JP00C 057 this is the code for this storage cabinet and we just drag, drag outside and rock technique in the right side you can see all this color is gray color means we cannot change the inside structure and also the size cannot change it we only can change it from here is the material we can modify the materials so this for the first storage box for the other storage box actually is the similar for our designers we can just drag inside and then change the size or uh, try to change the size or inside structure or try to change the colors will be okay for example this one drag inside okay and for this unit the size is available we can change it to be 900 or some other size is okay from here the maximum size is 799 the minimum size is 600 so we can just follow this standard and the height is from 200 to 400 because it's for st uh, special storage cabinet so we have some size restriction and for this one it's for the dressing mirror setting and the uh, the, co the code is jp 00c056 and this kind of uh, product is also very common use for us and from here we just drag inside Here we can see the total size, for example, the 900. Okay, we can see the size, and here is the height also can change from 475 to 1200 millimeter. We can set in this size. And here, this is the option uh, means if we need this intelligence, intelligence uh, mirror or not, because this one, this mirror, we call this intelligence mirrors. We can choose yes or not. The first option means yes, we need these intelligence, intelligence mirrors. And the second one means uh, no, without, without these mirrors. So we can change, uh, select. And we, if we choose this mirror, and here, because this is intelligence mirror, the size is also fixed size. We already have some standard size uh, to, cho to choose. The first one or the second one or some other size. Okay, that means we cannot customize this mirror size. And by the way, this uh, uh, this mirror is for intelligence mirror, so it can show the uh, the date, the weather, or some other information. Okay. And for the second uh, series for the some combined cabinet, here we only have uh, five uh, models, five models. For this kind of models, it's also similar. They just drag inside, and then uh, sometimes uh, the size uh, is can change it. Okay, for example, if this is a standard uh, models, then the size cannot change it. But sometimes the size can be customized. For example, this one maybe the size can be customized, and they just input the size from here will be okay. Here there's some errors. This error means okay, the hinge, the shape will conflict. So from here we can see the door and the, 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 the shelf and the hinge is conflict. So that's why we must delete this hinge and delete this shelf or change the position of this shelf. Okay, this is for some uh, combined cabinet. And actually for this kind of model it's not used to, uh, for this kind of model it's not used too much. Uh, next we go to another series is for the uh, showcase showcases 
for the shore cases, we also have two uh, series. The first series for the Allen, the second series for sample display cabinet. Uh, first, we check the uh, Allen. Here we have some stand Allen. Here we just uh, drag inside. And from here, the right side is for the total size. We can change the total size and also change the inside structure and uh, change the colors, the materials like that to do some small adjustment according to these standard models we have okay. So this one, the operation is similar with some other uh, normal cabinet. So here we do not have a very detailed introduction. The only one thing I want to say is for uh, some of this island, actually right now is not fully open. For example, for this series, for these three types, it's only for 3D rendering, only for 3D drawings. That means once we drag these uh, models inside, And then we can find out there's some error remounting. So that means uh, for this unit, right now it's only for the render. We can show the customer the 3D design, but we cannot uh, place order with, with, with this unit. We must use some other models. So this for the first series is for the island. The second series for the some sample display cabinet. For this kind of cabinet, it's actually it's for, our, uh, for our showroom to use this cabinet to display the small samples and the hardware. For example, the first one. For these models, the size is fixed. It's fixed. And uh, for this cabinet, uh, we use this cabinet for display the samples, like the door samples or some hardware samples. This is only for the showroom display. It, it is not for our uh, end customer. And for example, for this kind of uh, unit, it's for the display the um, slide door samples, which are through these um, models. And inside, we can add some uh, slide door samples just for display to show the customer we have this kind of options. The next series for the cabinet models. Next is for the cabinet models. For this cabinet models is very really useful, useful for us, especially for our designers to make the quickly design. For example, here this is a uh, different kind of product, like the entrance area or TV unit or some other cabinet for the balcony for the hinged door like that. For example, we choose the standard cabinet for the entrance area. For the entrance area here, from here, this is all the common used. Um, standard models, standard cabinet for this entrance area. For example, the first one for the on um, countertop cabinet, and the second unit is for the mid height, mid height cabinet. And then for the tall cabinet and wall cabinet and the top cabinet, something like that. And I suppose we choose the uh, tall cabinet, and then just uh, uh, choose the type you want, and then just in, drag inside. From here, we can change the total size and also change the inside structure and also change the, the, the materials. And then we use another um, big tall cabinet, suppose this one. Also, the size, the material, everything we can uh, change to do some small adjustment. And then also, we can use some other, for example, the, the stools, uh, this one. And also we change the size, suppose the wings will make to be uh, 600. And then it will come out. So that means we can just drag this cabinet inside and do some small adjustment. Then we can combine to our design. So this is very quickly for us to do the uh, design. We no need to choose this uh, some basic cabinet and change the inside structure by ourselves. So I suggest in the future our designers can try to uh, use this kind of standard models to combine your design with a key. This is uh, entrance area, this is for the hinged door or for some dining tables, dining cabinet. Next we go for the sample models. This one means sample models.
And this part is also very important because this is from all our standard samples from 2080 to 2020. And in the future, we will update this uh, standard samples. Uh, for example, this for 2090 samples. This is all the series for 2090 samples. For example, we choose uh, this one, this series. And, and this is all the uh, standard samples under this series. And this kind of samples is the same, exactly the same with the head office showroom. So we just uh, drag, uh, drag inside. Uh, once we double click, and from here we can see this is the total size of this uh, standard samples. And if we can change the total size if we want. And do some small adjustment. But sometimes, if our designers only want to change the size for some of the cabinet, it's not the total size. Then we just uh, we must uh, ungroup this cabinet because from here we we can see this this uh, models this samples is already grouped. So this is for the one part. If we want ungroup, so from here the edit ungroup and the shortcut key means uh, the control plus B. So control plus B to ungroup these models. And then for this cabinet, we just double click to select this cabinet. And from here, we can change the size of this cabinet and also can add the functional component, change the inside structure of this cabinet. So this is very uh, convenient for us if we want to make this same design or make the similar design with the head office showroom. We can choose these uh, standard samples from 2020 and 2090 and 2080. And for some other samples, all these samples is the same with our head office showroom. And the last series for some common used models for the local dealers, for example, this one is this for it. Uh, all the models, this kind of model is very common used in the local dealers. So for our designers, we can also reference these models and just drag inside. Then you can change the inside structure and do some small adjustment according to these standard models will be okay. So this is also very convenient for us. We just reference this design to make our design will be okay. Okay, right now we already finished the introduction of all these models. And this is a very important part for us, especially for our designers. The more familiar about these models, the faster is our design will be. So again, before we start our design, please uh, spend some time to familiar about these models. Uh, okay, so much for this part. Uh, thank you.